Okay, so in this problem, we're told a 22 gram bullet traveling 210 meters per second penetrates a two kilogram block of wood and emerges going 150 meters per second. If the block is stationary on a frictionless surface when it, when it hits, how fast does it move after the bullet emerges? So in this problem, we're gonna be talking about momentum. And so I always like to draw what's going on. And since we're dealing with momentum, it's important to draw what's going on before uh, basically before and after. So before is going to be before the bullet hits and then what happens after the bullet hits. So I always like to draw and label what's going on. So what's going on before? So we know we have a bullet, right? Imagine that's our bullet here. We know it is 22 grams and its speed is 210 meters per second. And then we know we have a block of wood too. So this block of wood, uh, we know its mass is 2 kg, they tell us. And obviously it's not moving, so it's just important to write down its speed too. So zero meters per second so and then it's going to hit the block and then we know uh when it hits right so imagine this is after the bullet's going to go through it right it emerges so it goes through it and emerges so we have the bullet here same mass still and then it's now traveling 150 meters per second so we know it slowed down a bit as a result of hitting this block and so we know the bullet travels like this it's going to hit it and then after it's going to keep going and then the block's also going to move since the bullet hit it obviously it's going to move and it's going to be traveling with some velocity we don't know so we're just going to say v question mark and so that's what we're trying to find what the, what the speed of uh, this block is after this bullet hits it so now we've got the before and after and so the way we're going to solve this is by using momentum and so if you don't know the formula for mo uh, momentum it's p momentum equals mass times velocity and so we're going to use the conservation of momentum to solve this, which is basically the momentum before has to be equal to the momentum after or the sum of the momentum. So this could be before and then some of the momentum after, right? You could say initial and final. It doesn't really matter how you write it. But uh, yeah, so basically we got to add up the momentum here of each object and then the momentum after. So let's go ahead and do that. So, so basically we have M1V1 plus M2V2 equals so that's the mass of uh the bullet uh and the velocity of the bullet and then this is the block so this is that this is this and then you could say m1 v1 generally people can write prime or whatever you want so i'll just write it like that plus m2 i guess m1 stays the same because it's just the mass so we're just gonna write it v1 prime so m2 v2 prime but yeah so uh we just basically gotta plug in our values so we have m1 v1 m2 v2 and then this is the velocity after. So this would be the velocity of the bullet after. And then this is the uh, velocity of the block. So we're actually solving for this V2 prime. That's what we're trying to find. And we're going to plug in all these other values. So keep in mind that V2 is the velocity. So I'm saying 2, right, is the block. I'll just write it out like this just to make it a bit more clear. But uh, v or V2 or is the velocity of the block in the beginning, right, on this side. And so notice it's 0. So if this is 0, this whole thing becomes 0 right here. So... We're just going to have m1 v1 equals m1 v1 prime plus m2 v2 prime. And so now we just want to plug in. So 22 grams, that is going to be 0 0.022 kg. Keep in mind, we got to convert it to kg. And then we know the initial velocity is 210. And then it's going to be equal to the mass of the bullet again, which is... 0 0.022 and then its new speed is 150 meters per second let me zoom in a bit 150 plus the mass of the block after which is still two uh, kilograms times its uh, velocity which we don't know so i'm just gonna write v just keep in mind it's v2 prime so now what we got to do minus this to the other side so minus 0 0.022 times 150. Let me go ahead and do that. So 0 0.022 times 210 minus 0 0.022 times 150 is 1.32. So it's going to be equal to 2 times V then, divide by 2. And you'll be finding the velocity is 0.66. And then keep in mind the units for velocity we were using was meters per second. So 0.66 meters per second, that's going to be the velocity of our block after. But yeah, so just keep in mind, it's not really moving that fast, obviously, because it just got hit by the bullet. It's not like it's going to travel the same speed. 
Uh, but yeah, so all we did was use the uh, law of conservation of momentum. We looked at before and after and then just plugged in our value. So pretty simple problem. And uh, yeah, so this right here is going to be your answer. And hopefully you found this useful.